Welcome to the Let's Get Chemical podcast, a podcast made by chemical engineers for chemical engineers, in which we talk with alumni and other guests who work in the world of chemical engineering about their experiences, their jobs, and other hot topics in the industry. My name is Frizo. I'm a 24-year-old chemical engineering student here at UT, and we have a guest currently living in Enschede, Thomas Bauer. Hello. Dear Thomas, could you maybe give a small introduction about who you are and what you do? Yes, of course, Friso. Thanks. Um, well, I'm Thomas Brouwer. I'm uh, already 31 years old, so I'm yeah, a little bit uh, young still, I hope. <laughs> um, to introduce myself, I uh, did also, also my studies here, so bachelor, master, and also was stupid enough to, to do the, the PhD, but let's go into that more detail later. And after that, I uh, started working at Host, and that's where I am now still. Nice. That was shortly my, my life story. <laughs> Is there one memory that basically tells you like, oh, this was my study time. This was the height of my study time. I think what is what will be my most dearest memory is uh, uh, my time at Alembic. Because Alembic is a very small association. So you, you always know quite a lot of people. Uh, you know them all. And uh, yeah, and then, so nowadays I have uh, a couple of patterns about these processes. Okay, and cool. So you actually had quite a few actual breakthroughs. Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and the company who, who now has the patent also thinks so. So it's quite nice. If I have to say something, I miss the really complicated detailed modeling just to figure out what is the exact way to do everything. But in the company, they say, well, give me a ballpark. It's fine with me. Yeah, so you miss the, the perfectionism that you basically use in your PhD. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> N not always. <laughs> I lived on the campus for Oh, maybe seven years or something, and then, then your 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 view of uh, Enschede can be quite limited. <laughs> if you only go to the to the city center at two o'clock in the morning, yeah, it's it's a different city. Host is uh, as a company who is a little bit over 30 years old now. It's it's still a family-owned company. People will never say, well, I have to talk to my manager because then he can talk to his manager. I like, no, <laughs> because then you're already at the top. We don't have so much <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. much layers. We know that that is the, the future of the renewable. That's cool. So there's a really bright future, pun intended. Exactly. <laughs> now, you know, now you know exactly you know where the name comes from. Nice. Do you think that universities should cut the ties with non-sustainable companies? I can understand people who are saying this. They say, well, for instance, the oil companies are very damaging for the environment. Please cut ties with them and uh, uh, don't consider them on universities. I understand the response, but uh, I think if you really are logical and rational, uh, it's, a, it's not a good idea. How do I see myself working towards a better future, a brighter future? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get chemical.